The burning question on everyone's mind right now is, why is Bitcoin pumping while our altcoin portfolios remain flat? And more importantly, when can we expect altcoins to catch up? Let's know all the details. First, let's look at the current market. The total market cap has dropped by 6.5%, and yesterday saw inflows of 2,340 BTC into the market. The Fear and Greed Index is at 73, signaling a greedy market, which means the big players are still bullish. Bitcoin is hovering around $68,000, facing strong resistance. If Bitcoin breaks through $68,000, we could see a run toward the all-time high of $69,000. But short-term consolidation might hold it back for now. Keep an eye on the $67,400 support and $68,900 resistance levels. Right now, support is at $67,400, and resistance is at $68,900. Keep an eye on these levels. Geopolitical factors, like tensions in the Middle East, are also in play here, similar to how oil prices soared in past crises. So, what's behind this Bitcoin surge? ETFs BlackRock and Grayscale are adding Bitcoin to their portfolios, with BlackRock purchasing 4,619 BTC recently. Institutional support is boosting Bitcoin's price, and positive regulatory vibes in the US are adding fuel to the rally, for altcoins to surge. Bitcoin needs to break its all-time high and attract retail investors. Altcoins usually rally when there's FOMO, especially after big gains in smaller assets or meme coins. Now, why aren't altcoins pumping? It's all about Bitcoin dominance. For altcoins to surge, Bitcoin needs to break its all-time high and bring retail investors back into the market. Until then, altcoins will stay flat. That's it for today's breakdown of why Bitcoin is pumping while altcoins are lagging behind. Drop your thoughts in the comments below and make sure to like and subscribe for more crypto updates.